Hi again guys and girls, uh, I'm going to show you another job today um, how to change a pair of sink taps um, and there's the ones there we're going to change today um, they're often called monoblock mixers because um, they go through one hole through there uh, and they bolt up underneath it's a bit of a tricky job but you can do it uh, it's not that bad um, as you can see this tap's dripping quite regular so we're going to change this one over um, now if you look under the sink in this particular instance, you'll see that we've got a couple of valves on there. I'll put the torch there. So we're all right, we're gonna turn these two valves off. Now will isolate the, um, the taps. If you haven't got any valves under there, just shut your main water off. Uh, in this instance, we have got a main stopcock there, um, but you can shut those off uh, and then um, get the pipes apart. So we'll get them shut off first and then I'll show you how we disconnect them and get them out. So there we are, our two valves are shut across ways. Um, now in this particular job, um, we've got a waste pipe going across here, which is slap dab in the way. So we're gonna take that out of it and just make sure that nothing goes down the sink. So we're gonna get rid of that next, just undo it. Now it's usually hand tight, I mean, can't undo it like this. Just take it off and get rid of it out of the way. Clear the decks as much as you can. If you've got a shelf in the way, even get rid of that as well and take it out and uh, at least you can see and get to what you want to do, what work you need is being done. Okay, so we lift that out of there and then we've got a bit of access to the job. Put that down there. Um, and now, as you can look, if you look up there now, you'll see, if I can get the torch right enough for you, that there is a, a long nut, long bolt with a, a brass nut on it. And that's got to be undone to get these taps loose. We've also got to undo these two joints here there and there uh, and knock the olives off and then we'll be able to pull these taps out so we're going to see if we can loosen that nut up there first it's usually very easy um, there is a spanner that you can use for that and sometimes they do have a, a, a screw type thread um, on the end of the nut there which you can undo with a screwdriver um, if you're lucky um, but normally I use this spanner which I'm going to show you now right there is a specific tool that I use for these jobs and uh, this is it really um, and it, you can get these for about five or six quid from a local plumber I think you're going to need it um, to get these out nine times out of ten it's the only thing that will go up there and it's a little box spanner set that's going to go up on that nut um, so I'll get it on and show you how that goes okay there you can see the um, the box spanners up on the nut they're a bit awkward but uh, as you can see it there you can just see it's going up onto the nut, this is the one we need. Get this out, because it's got the whole horseshoe arrangement, which is quite common on these type of jobs. And as usual, it's got a waste nut, the waste pipe running right in front of it. Put that back there so you can see. And uh, we'll get that on, and then we we'll, should be able to undo that, because it's a nice tight fit in there. So get a little Tommy bar, if you don't drop it. That's it, it's a bit awkward. Get it in there and twist. Now you can see that's come undone easy so it's not too tight but it's fairly modern tap so it should come off fairly easy and as I turn that now you should see it start to come loose like so I don't know if you can see that there you can see it there I'll lift it up and you can see the nuts coming away okay I'll put that back down there so you can see I'll shine it back up that's it and we'll undo that and take it out. So this is the awkward part of the job. This horseshoe arrangement I actually hate. It's such a terrible arrangement. But uh, that's what you get these days. The new taps that are going in uh, haven't actually got this. They've got a nut and a bolt, which, which I do prefer. As you can see, it's coming undone now. We'll probably do it with our fingers now as we undo it. Okay, so I won't bore you with that bit. I'll click it off and we'll move on to undoing the nuts below. Okay, the next stage is undo the union nuts here. On those pipes, I think you can see them. Just, there's a lot of things in the way, so it's a little bit awkward. But um, basically when you undo it, you can see I've loosened them already. But you'll need a bit of a spanner there. And that spanner on there to hold against while you undo it. Okay. So it's uh, just a matter of, otherwise a whole valve would turn round. If you don't hold against with a pair of footprints or another spanner, that nut's going to turn the whole valve 
and uh, it will turn on the body and of it cools your leg underneath. Don't worry about the little bit of water that's coming down out the pipe, that's what's in the actual taps and what's in the bit of pipe that's, that's above. So you're always going to get that no matter what you do. I've already undone this one here. That one should now come out. And there'll be a bit of dead water in there, as you can see. Okay, just let it finish, put a bit of cloth under there. This tap should be able to lift out now. As you can see, they're, they're free now. We've got them free. But what we've got to do is knock these nuts and cones off. Because, um, obviously, they're not going to pull up through, through the hole. Unless they're out of it. So, there's a couple of ways you can do this. As you try and get them off by tapping them off like that. If not, there's not enough room. Um, sometimes you have to actually put a sock through those and act them off that way because they're a bit awkward to actually get off at this angle. So there's the shoe. Um, that's the locking shoe that was up there holding that on. The taps are nice and loose now. They're ready to come out once I get these nuts and cones off. Um, let's say this is the awkward part. If you've got nuts and cone, you've got to actually get these off. And that can be a problem. But uh, if the worst comes to the worst, um, for them. Okay, we've now cut through our pipes in the end. Uh, decided best option was to put a tube cutter through them and cut them off. We don't need them anyway. So squeeze them together after that, and now they should pull up through the sink. So if you're really dead, you can pull them out. They should pull right out of the sink now. Just keep pulling, twist, twist and pull. And there we are. The old ones are out. And now we move on to fitting the new ones. Well, here we have the new taps and first thing we've got to do um, is, is screw these up into the holes inside the taps. You'll see there's a couple of holes in the taps here uh, and we just thread these up. You don't have to do them too tight. There is always spanner nuts on them and I'll put those in a second. Uh, also, clean around the hole in the sink. It's all going to be mucky and dirty before they go in. And also there's a, a rubber washer with these ones that come underneath there and it goes on there, make sure that one's on and there's one for the underneath to lock it on when we do it up so we do these up first and then we'll slide this main nut over these pipes one at a time and get it up to be done from underneath so first of all we'll screw these unions in there first okay we'll do that now. and here we are going in, as you can see they're going in there get the other one in, through the hole there start that one these ones only need to go up by hand, they've got a little rubber washer that does the seal. There's no need to go too mad. Just screw them up by hand till they stop. And that's it. And there we are, there's uh, your towels on. Okay, and we've got our little rubber washer on there for the sink. Now we're going to drop it down through the sink. But first of all, we're going to clean this dirty mark. That's on the top. Clean that off. Right. And now, we've got a little washer on there. I'll drop these through there. Drop it down in position. Now this is where it's better if you've got someone can hold these for you while you go underneath and get the nut on. So I've got Dad here who's going to give me a hand and hold these while I do the nut up from underneath. So I'll show you how to do that next. Right, okay. Um, now in this instance the nut was not covering over both of the pipes, so we have to do it in a in another set way of doing this one. Um, just put one up, and then put your nut over. Your nut and thing. Hang on, let's put it on this pipe first, like so. And then come up over that one. So what you're doing is coming over that one. We'll do the washer on first, shall we? Let's do it right over that one, over that one, and up that one. And we're ready to go. Okay, that won't drop off because the nuts won't allow it. So we've got to thread all this one in position because it's, I can't get the nut over so if you find that's the case you will have to thread one of them up afterwards I mean you can do it this way round hold it in and just screw these in afterwards but uh, it's nicer if you can do it before without but no worries this is in and, and that won't drop off now because it's hanging on the end of those pipes so now dad's holding the taps for me up there we can now screw this up and I much prefer this nut arrangement because it's a much better job than those horseshoes, which I think are pretty awful. So we now do that one up with a nice spanner. Now this one, I, I like to use a basin spanner on this to tighten it right up. And that's uh, one of these little beasties. Right, you've got a nice and square, Dad. Yeah. You've got to tighten it up. Okay, we're ready now to tighten it up. Put that up there. And just move it around like so. Let's 
So, let's give it a little nip. Won't want too much. They're a bit awkward, but persevere. Probably should be it. And that's our taps in with the towels hanging. So we now move on to the next stage. Right now I was thinking of connecting these up, um, these, but they're very long towels. And if we if we bend those, if you can see, there's there's just too much set there. That that is not right. That is going to leak, guaranteed. So we don't want to do that. We, we're going to have to cut these pipes down a bit um, and get these towels on because they're a bit too long, I think. So we're going to have a look at maybe all we know. Okay, now as you can see, um, I've decided to give those towels a long curve. As long as they're curved and you know, not kinked in any way, um, you should be right to connect them back on. I've curved them both round and give them as much slack as possible because mainly because I may be able to water this cold one and drop that down to there but this hot one has got a set on it so it means I wouldn't be able to, I'd have to connect it right down here um, obviously that pipe then they're not long enough to reach there um, it would mean literally renewing all of that so I've decided to give them a long bend um, it's one of those grey areas really some people say it's okay some say it isn't but um, I'm going to try it out there's main pressure here and the hot is also on a, off of a combi so there's, there's quite a lot of pressure we should be okay um, and I think that's really the best probably the answer to it rather than cut those down I can, so I can cut the cold one down to there uh, but the hot one it has to come right down here which is a little bit too far so I'm going to tighten that up now and turn it on all right oh and uh before we go don't forget to put the waist back okay make sure you've got it back nice and tight only needs to be done up by the hands all right if you have had to take your waist off you'll soon remember that you've forgotten it anyway as soon as you run the water in the sink because <laughs> it will come pouring out the bottom here okay there we are i've only just realized that i didn't have it on so there's a little bit of water here for me to clear up so just one for you to remember eh okay there we are then uh they're in position um so i've gone for the long flex on there some people don't like that some people are okay with it uh if i find i'm not happy with it i'll connect it with short ones um but for now just to show you um how to do how to connect them on even if i do change these for shorter ones which i probably will um that is the job uh they're on and the, the taps are fitted and uh these taps are particularly good value um we'll tell you about them uh and that's the fact that they're only £12.45 on eBay um, delivered. Um, you know, I don't know about the longevity of them, but they certainly feel all right. They certainly work all right. And uh, yeah, I think they look quite a nice little job. So I'm running the tap just before I go once again, just let you know, everything's all right. Give it a thorough check. Make sure there's no leaks. If you've taken the, the waste off, just check it's all right. There's nothing leaking there. All right. And, um, Everything seems to be hunky dory, so I think we're all right. Still a bit of water hanging away, is where I took it off and reconnected it there. Um, that's it, I think we're done. That's how to do taps, how to do kitchen tap monoblock mop mixers, we call them. Uh, any more of my videos, Derrick and 33. Thanks for watching.